What are these? What are you doing? I figured I'm going to make a table because I'm invited to the table. I'm going to make the table. Hey, and welcome to the Summerbrook Takeaway. I am Tanner Treffin, joined by Pastor Joey Rumble. And we're talking about a proposal. A proposal between Boaz and Ruth in the book of Ruth. Yes. Yeah, I, I enjoyed it um, right away. You, we were talking about the name tags, and uh, you brought up how, how Casey Pisty, shout out to Casey, thanks for uh, blowing off the park, um, the driveway, parking lot. Yeah, every weekend. <laughs> every yeah. week, and uh, he came up to you, and he shared a song with you? Yeah, Matthew West, Hello, My Name Is, and it was really completely like what I've been doing with Don't Name Tag Yourself in Your Suffering uh, with negative labels like uh Name we did with uh, calling herself Mara, which means bitter. Yeah. So it was cool. We're, we're going to add a little link at the bottom of the YouTube page there to click on it to watch that song. It, it's really cool. I enjoyed it. Yeah, it's a great song. I'm a child of the one true king. And uh, so the next point you got into was I'm invited to the table. Uh, so how can we walk that out? Uh, just make sure you accept the invitation to accept uh, Christ's salvation offer. And, and many are... You know, as he was calling people in the New Testament as well, I, I spoke in Revelations, but it's also in, I think, Matthew 22. And, and so not, to, and like I told the church, I don't care if I'm where I'm at at the table. I just want to make the table. And let, another thing I want to drive home here, we need to help as many people uh, make it to the table, the banquet as well, by helping them come to know Jesus. So in our, our community, in our neighborhoods, we need to continue to do that. Happy Fall, y'all, is a tremendous time on October 29th to invite their friends who have kids or invite friends who just want to hang out to an outdoor service and uh, do something in the community. So Yeah. We'll I'm excited for that 10 a.m. and we're, we're going to eat together and have a blast and, and hear the word of God. So I'm excited to be, be a great invited day. to the table. Amen. Um, and, and with that, I think it also is huge to invite others to the to the table, be part of the Lord's messengers, invite mm -hmm. people to the table. That's it's big. Um, I, I love the point you brought up, and this was my takeaway actually, that um, Naomi has this woundedness that she said, I, I went away full and I came back empty. Mm -hmm. um, that's why she's so bitter. And um, Boaz is, knows that so that when Ruth comes to him at night, before he sends her back in the morning, he says, uh, gives her a bunch of grain and says, we did not go back to your mother-in-law empty-handed. And I feel like that really showed the, the hesity, uh, the kindness, not only to Ruth, but, but to her mother-in-law as well. Yeah, and, and obviously Boaz is also an example of the red thread Christ. And so God is knowing that Naomi's feeling empty, I believe is a, a clear sign to help Naomi say, no, 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 you're full. I know you've experienced loss, uh, but I haven't forgot about you. Um, and so I, I love that moment where, uh, with the barley, and so he uh, makes sure that Naomi receives abundance. Yeah, and, and um, with that, I think... Uh like when you're speaking into marriages and friendships and really anything, is it's a big thing that can help in marriage is knowing your spouse's uh, wounds, the, the brokenness of where they have hurt of people who have said to them before. Like, for instance, I, I feel like uh, one place I struggle with, uh, I told Mary, is I feel like I ruin stuff. Like if I do one big mistake, I just I just ruined it. And so Mary is sensitive uh, that when I'm upset, she's like, hey, Tanner, you didn't ruin it. Like, it's not ruined. Like, it's okay. Like, uh, I'm not that, you know, upset at you. And so she just, she knows my... There's, there's such a safety in our marriage where we can share about those broken places and then also speak into them. Uh, I think it's powerful. Yeah, and for any of you who are listening, that's huge. And any of you who are listening that were at Church Sunday where you heard the first message but not the second service, you had made a, a mention about when I spoke, hey, when I mentioned about the emptiness, invite the people where they feel empty uh, God is there to fill them and recognize where they can be full. And so I mentioned that in the second uh, service. So um, uh, making sure that wh where are you empty? Go to the Lord to be full. But also I think we need to be reminded and know, man, we in Christ, man, you are full uh, it, supernaturally and spiritually. But then God sometimes asks you to do tangible steps so that you can be encouraged and not live in that place of feeling empty. Yeah. 
And I think that really Miguel brought up how much he loved uh, you explaining the kinsman redeemer point, because like hell, Jesus is our kin, like he put on flesh and walked among us, but he's also the redeemer that that he's the God man where only God can put on the weight of the whole world and pay the the the, the, the debt of of sin, and and he redeems us not just from our sin, but he uh, places us in a and and a seat in the heavenly places now uh, that that we're made righteous through Christ and so um, even this life will have troubles but take heart Jesus has overcome the world that one day Jesus will return and wipe away every tear and, and make everything all right. Which is- it was a huge reminder that Boaz was uh, Naomi and Ruth's kinsman redeemer and thus Christ is our kinsman redeemer and that Boaz through him being married to Ruth uh, the line of King David, the line of Christ comes right through them. The, our eternal redemption is, is used of God through the line of uh, Boaz and Ruth. It's powerful. Yeah, and I, the book continually shouts like, hey, if you got some brokenness going on, if you got some emptiness, God is in the business of redemption. Yeah. Uh, and you said he mentioned, it's mentioned 23 23 times. 23 times the word uh, redeemed redemption is in um, the book of Ruth, and so it's just it's just only the same eighty-five point. verses in the whole book. It's just crazy. I feel like that God's just shouting that no matter where you are, let's just stumble back to Him. Let's, let's come back and know that God can redeem even the most broken of situations. Yeah, and believe that no no person is too far gone to receive Christ's redemption. That's good. Any other thoughts on Hesed kindness? Um, just the the more we can show that in our marriage that that hesed kindness is such a uh, a full word that's uh, mentioned over 250 times in the old testament uh that god's kindness god's covenant kindness to us and we're to demonstrate that in our marriage we're to demonstrate that in in our relationships uh with others and uh, uh I, I and also i i really feel like um it, it, on that we need to continue, not not necessarily on the Hesed word, but just uh, we need to make sure we continue to be praying for the peace of Israel and praying for uh, God's presence uh, and uh, healing power in such a difficult situation over there. And so scripture talks so much about praying for the peace of Jerusalem and inter, uh, interceding for Israel. So uh, just another reminder about that. That's, that's good. Um, practically, I think uh, just one way you can show kind of that hesed kindness in, in your marriage is just um, texting or calling your spouse, not for any reason, but just say, hey, I care about you. I love you. Just seeing how you're doing. You know, I think that just, just little things like that, writing little notes and stuff make a big difference. Yeah. And, and the other one at the end I shared was making sure that you're a person of godly sorrow, not worldly sorrow. Uh, you you shared that quote today in Team Leads that... Um, uh, it, it, worldly sorrow is sorry you got caught. Godly sorrow is sorry that you did it. To you know, and that we're, there's a deep repentance mm-hmm. before the Lord that oh, against you, God, I've sinned. Yeah, like change my heart, renew me a right spirit, oh God, mm-hmm. like that Psalm 51 prayer of David. Yeah, yeah. huge. What was your takeaway? I, I I think my big takeaway personally uh, was. Um, that you, you don't uh, make sure I stay a person of godly sorrow and brokenness before the Lord and helping people understand God's forgiveness, God's redemption. That's, good. That's me. How about you? Yeah, for me, just continue to try to show Mary Hesed kindness and know her wounds and speak life into them. Uh-huh. Cool. And then tell me about uh, uh, the launch of the second uh student service fifth through eighth grade yeah praise god uh, it went great thank you so much for the families that moved to the 9 30 and, and got your teenagers in there it's a, a great service a uh, great job to nick and to mihaela and kat and and christian and all the people uh, leading there uh, you just did an awesome job and uh, i'm just thankful for what god's doing there so. awesome now we got that 9 30 and 11 for uh, all the ministries here at summerbrook of that are the kids ministry as well as junior high ministry awesome. cool. any final thoughts right no there? man that's it well, thanks so much for listening, guys. Uh, if you want to make headway, you need a takeaway, so let's walk in it together. God bless you.